Hi, Earth Science students, Mrs. Schmidt here. I wanted to make this video to make you aware of your barometer lab and some of the requirements. So if you are in 112, so that's core, um, you should actually be constructing your barometer soon. And um, you're gonna have to monitor it for at least like for a week for seven days okay so I'm sending this to you ahead of time notice that it's not technically due until November 15th if you are a 113 or 114 so comprehensive or honors yours is due even a little bit later you'll notice yours is due um, you know around the November 21st but again I'm making this video to kind of give you a heads up so what do what do we need to do so I wanted to show you again from the course calendar. So if we go to content, course materials, notice we've got all sorts of things here. So we're going to look at the course calendar, okay? And then we will come back and look at the Class Connect recording bank. So let's pull up the course calendar. Let's scroll down. Thanks for your patience. <laughs> and again, this is for 112. Okay, so yours will be in a little bit, in a few more days for comprehensive and honors. But notice it says here, begin monitoring barometric changes with your homemade barometer. So it hopefully you've downloaded the course calendar already to your computer. So this is a clickable link, all right? This is a class connect that's gonna help you on how to construct that. But notice you need to monitor it for seven days. So you can download download the course calendar here and click on it from there or let's go back to our course materials and go to the Class Connect recording bank and access it from there. So here is our Class Connect recording bank. We're going to click here and let's scroll now. Okay, we're down to unit five. And here it is. So row 14, it's unit 5, there's the title Barometer Lab, and we would just click on here and, and watch that Class Connect to help you with the lab. So let's look at the content. Let's look at uh, unit 5. Here we are, lesson 4 for the Barometer Lab. Okay. I do want to point out this used to be a discussion. But we have now, instead of having it be a discussion, we've turned it into a graded assignment lab report. So it says there, um, you know, please disregard the please disregard the information about it being discussion. It is now um, a graded assignment lab report that you will turn in to the assignment folder. As you work your way through the lesson, as part of the lesson introduction on page three, this is where all of the materials are going to be listed. Okay, so again, you're going to want to make sure that you download here this student guide lesson four um, and that you get all of the necessary materials. So this is what the student guide is going to look like. Okay, it's going to talk about the objectives. Um, and then it's going to give you the steps on how to build your barometer. So what you will see here is, so here, let's say, is the note card that you're going to be labeling. Okay. And then you're going to take, you're going to get the barometric pressure for day one. So like for me on my, on my card, I put day one, 30.4 inches and there it goes. Okay. Now, again, you're going to be getting this because you're going to be um, matching it on the National Weather Service website. Okay. So that's how you're going to get for day one. Um, and then, you know, day two, if, it, if the pressure goes down, I marked it with a different color and I wrote it beside there, then you mark it down and so forth, okay? So you can label your note card like you see here. I've also had students where they get the, the, the barometric pressure for day one, okay? So notice down here, barometric pressure, again, they got it from the National Weather service website and then instead of doing the actual pressure they simply just put if it went up and down so many lines or so many millimeters okay so I'm perfectly fine with you doing that either way but the idea is here you should be starting to get an understanding of when you know if the barometric pressure drops how does that impact the temperature and the humidity 
um, are there clouds and, and vice versa? Or if the barometric pressure increases, what happens to the temperature, the, the humidity and so forth in the air? When we turn back to the lesson, I do want to point out you're definitely going to want to make sure that you can compare and contrast wet and dry barometers. This will definitely be a question on an upcoming test. Towards the end of the lesson, you're going to find this graded assignment lab report. Remember, we are not doing it as a discussion, so please disregard that, but you're going to be turning it into the assignment folder. So part A, sometimes students get confused. I want to point out that part A corresponds with step three of the student guide. So it says use the daily weather map and the weather data for the various cities below. So I'm going to flip to the student guide. Now remember it's step three of the student guide. So at the bottom of the student guide you're going to use this map and then this data Okay, you're going to be looking at the various fronts and so forth and then answer the questions that you see here. You're going to answer questions one through four for the graded assignment lab report for part A. And then part B of the lab report is where you're going to be actually getting your data. All right, everybody. Well, I hope that answers some of your questions about the setup. Um, again, you're going to be making your own barometer. You're going to then be monitoring the pressure changes for, for a week. You're going to be filling out this, um, this data table. Okay. Um, again, students really enjoy this. Okay. But I, I just want to make sure that you have enough heads up and that you realize you need to be monitor, monitoring the barometric pressure, pressure with your homemade barometer for seven days. If, if you have any questions, you're always welcome to come and see me in study hall, email me or Skype me and have a great day. Bye-bye.